Hello everyone. Today we're here with the 1977 D200 Custom. This is a workhorse for sure. It's got the util line bed with a step in it and it's an eight foot bed. These are not too common anymore. Most of the util line beds that you see are the Little Red Expresses or the Warlocks. And uh, today, doing a little vintage Mopar hunting and resuscitating. Yes, a Sundance. So this car runs and drives, but uh, it needs a little bit of work. We just kind of put it out of a old shop and uh, towing it home. So this video is not about the Sundance today, but more about the truck. So it's fully loaded up. Um, I didn't need to use the quad today to pull the car out. I actually got it running fresh gas and a new battery. It started up after sitting since, uh, looks like 2012. It's got 13s on the inspection there. So last time it was really running was probably 2012. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about the Dodge D200. Yeah, so this is a D200. It's a two-wheel drive. It's a three-quarter ton. It's got the big wheels, full floating axles, Dana. I, I can't, I don't know if it's a Dana 60 or Dana 70, but it's got a big Dana rear end under there. And uh, it's pretty well loaded up today for a 45 plus year old truck. It's still doing all right. We're gonna do some driving in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you a little under the hood. This truck is mostly original. It's got uh, 127,000 miles on it now. And I've got my co-pilot today because it is October and we were using this as uh, some yard art with my buddy Bob there. And this has always been a Pennsylvania truck. Um, I've owned it for about 20 years now. And when I bought it, it had like 87,000, and now it's got 127,000. It's by no means perfect, but it is a workhorse truck. In the time that I've owned it and the 40,000 miles I've put on it, I've never really um, opened up the engine in any way, other than maybe replacing some valve cover gaskets. I've, I put a timing chain on I take that back. I did put a timing chain on it but it's getting to the point where I'm gonna to need to pull the heads and uh, just do a valve job. Bottom end is pretty solid. I put a radiator in it and it runs and drives just fine for a 45 year old truck. It's got a little bit of a suntan on it there. You know, most of my stuff is slant sixes um, this one is not, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with any with V8s. Um, I love the slant sixes, but I'm also I got a few V8s in my collection as well. The worst part on this truck is the passenger door. Um, this patch was on there when I got it in 2003. I tried to do this one, but. Uh, it did not turn out very well, but it, it's solid, you know, it just doesn't look very good. And today, as I said, we were out retrieving that uh, acclaim, or Sundance, I should say. So uh, the passenger compartment's just uh, full of tools, and uh, the bed, it's got the old Honda 4 tracks 300 four-wheel drive quad. That's a vintage one as well, it runs great. But, um, you know, none of this stuff is as good as a modern vehicle or a modern truck, but it's got the look. Um, I've rebuilt the wood in the bed. And the nice thing is you can get a lot of these bed parts uh, readily available from your various online retailers, Bruce Horkies, etc. Because, um, you know, of the Warlocks and the Little Red Expresses and the other the trucks, that have wood beds in them as well. Um, I've used this truck for many years to do parts hauling, scrapping, whatever, you know. It's got some rust down on the bottom of the fenders, which is typical. 
I don't think you'll see it on the video, but the core supports uh, Swiss cheese. But it still holds the radiator and the headlights on. I guess that's good enough. I should throw a core support on there sometime. When I bought this truck, it had only front brakes. I put a brake line on it many years ago. I put a floor section in it, some cab corners. You know, typical Dodge truck stuff. I've repaired the roof right in the corner there. And uh, for the last six or seven years, I've had it inside. So for you know, 15, first 15 or 16 years I owned it, it was always outside. All right, well, let's go for a little drive. So as you can see, this is the four speed. It's not really a four speed. The first gear is a grinding gear. And uh, you wind it out to maybe 12 miles an hour in granny gear. Uh, and then this is really first, second, third. Um, so it's got a wide ratio transmission. Of course, you got your reverse over here. Um, it's got an AM FM radio, cargo light, trailer brake controller here. And uh, this one doesn't have air conditioning. I thought about putting air conditioning in it because usually when I'm doing parts work, getting cars and so forth, um, I'm usually doing this in the middle of the summer. But I haven't added any air to it yet. All right, so we're all loaded up. You know, we've got the quad here. We've got the, uh, the Sundance on the trailer. And it doesn't pull fast. It's not going to be, of course, like any sort of turbo diesel or a 12 valve or a 5.9 or anything like that. A granny gear going downhill. I guess we got almost 15 miles an hour. And again, if I didn't mention it earlier, <coughs> it's got the 318. And it's pretty much stock. There's not uh, there's not a lot that have been done to it other than just maintenance work. I never even put a four barrel on or dual exhaust or anything like that. Just kept it all pretty much stock and kept it maintained. trucks as well would have used a similar transmission maybe not exactly the same but you first gear is not synchronized so it's not like an it's not like an NV 4500 where that grand gear is synchronized you've got to come to a complete stop to get into the first gear truck is the fact that it has the bigger brakes being a three-quarter ton truck if I was doing this much ton with an older older truck of this vintage and just having a half ton with a little bit smaller rotors and smaller drums on the back it's nowhere near a modern vehicle but the three-quarter ton does have bigger brakes from this era so that's nice you know especially with the hilly areas and just you know modern traffic everybody's gonna have better brakes than you are so the bigger brakes do help out I will say that not 
going to win any uh, drag races or speed contests, that's for sure. But it does get the job done. Although it might get the job done slowly. set of them 
at the scrap yard off of a Ford, I believe. And uh, they bolted right on. Got them powder coated and get the proper wheel covers and hubcaps. They look good. So here's our grade. This grade's uh, about 18%. Especially up here at the top, it gets even steeper. Downshift in the third. And it'll sustain 35 miles an hour up here all fully loaded. It's not the fastest, like I said, but it'll get us there. Thanks for watching. Take care.